The American Fuzzy Lop is a breed of rabbit that's recognized by the American Rabbit Breeders Association or ARBA. It looks similar to the Holland Lop, but the wool coming from this rabbit is comparable with the Angora rabbit breeds. The American Fuzzy Lop has shorter wools than the commercial Angora rabbit. Adult American Fuzzy Lops can weigh up to 4 pounds, and this is the ideal weight for a specimen to qualify for the show. The American Fuzzy Lop weighs 3 to 4 pounds with bucks weighing 3 to 5 pounds. This rabbit has a compact body that looks very muscular. This rabbit comes in colors that are accepted by Arba. The ears do not stand straight and just merely lops to their sides. The American Fuzzy Lop has a short and flat muzzle just like a cat. History of the breed The American Fuzzy Lop's history is intertwined with the history of the famed Holland Lop. When the Holland Lop rabbit breed was first introduced, this was available in solid colors only, and some breeders wanted a broken pattern to the gene pool. What the breeders did was to breed Holland Lops to a breed called the English Spots. The breeders were able to develop a rabbit with broken colors, but they were not able to keep the rollback fur that the Holland Lop was famous for. The babies that resulted from the breeding program had flyback fur that they inherited from their English spot parent. The breeders again experimented by breeding the Holland Lop with French Angoras which are a breed with a gentle rollback fur. The babies had the wool gene that they wanted, and this was introduced to the Holland Lop gene pool, and a lop with long wool was found in the lop litters. The very first American Fuzzy Lop breeders included Patty Green Carl and Gary Fellers from the East Coast and West Coast breeders Kim Landry and Margaret Miller. Green Carl has credited for the discovery that the fuzzy gene was a recessive gene, therefore, breeding two Holland Lops that have the gene will result in offspring with 25% woolly fur. She decided to develop this as a new breed and called it American Fuzzy Lops. Green Carl developed the American Fuzzy Lop and presented it to the Arba for the first time in 1985 in a convention in Houston, Texas. The Arba had three standards for wool lops. The American Fuzzy Lop was again presented to an Arba convention in 1986 in Columbus, Ohio, and again, the breed passed. But for the third time in Portland, Oregon, the Arba did not approve of the breed, stating that it lacked uniformity. The standard was revised, and it had described a woolly Holland that had a maximum weight of 4 pounds and an ideal weight of just 3.5 pounds. Coat and Colors the American Fuzzy Lop has a wool coat and can be harvested and spun into yarn despite growing only 2 inches in length. This rabbit has coarse wool, which is similar to an Angora rabbit. The coat is not prone to tangling or matting, but the coat around the tail area is prone to matting because of sitting. The colors of the American Fuzzy Lop are agouti, which is a combination of chestnut, chinchilla lynx, squirrel, and opal, and pointed white, which has a pure white body. All American Fuzzy Lops have a distinct mark around their eyes, ears, and nose. Supplies and cages. The enclosure for captive American fuzzy lops must be made of wire with a strong metal or wooden frame. The bottom must be removable because this is where the rabbit's droppings will fall. This pan makes it easier to clean the cage. The floor of the enclosure should have soft bedding so that it is comfortable for your rabbit and his companions. Place a rabbit hay feeder on the side of the enclosure and fill this with hay so your rabbit can eat when it feels hungry. For the lining and bedding, you must only use hay, wooden pellets, or pelleted bedding. Never use newspapers, paper towels, or brown paper bags because these can tear up and won't be good cage bedding for a rabbit cage. To maintain a rabbit cage, first, remove your pets and place these inside a safe and clean container, box, or enclosure. Use only a safe cleaner or natural product such as baking soda, white vinegar, or lemon juice. Do not use household cleaners because these may contain toxic ingredients that can negatively affect your pet's health. Consider a separate or extra cage, if plan to breed baby American Fuzzy Lops. These are born naked, deaf, and blind, therefore, these need a warm enclosure to keep their bodies at the right temperature. A smaller cage with a cage lamp or lighting is a suitable place to incubate young rabbits. Health Concerns An American Fuzzy Lop is a healthy breed and is not affected by a specific disease. The reason for this is could be due to extensive breeding as a show rabbit. The most common conditions with which the American fuzzy lop may be affected are pests like mites, ticks, and fleas, which can also dislodge in their ears, paws, and neck and may be harder to remove because of their thick fur. A groomer and your vet can help you find a good treatment for pests. American fuzzy lops are not immune to common rabbit diseases. You must keep a close watch on your rabbit's health and temperament because these may change due to an illness. So, as early as your pet can open its eyes and wean from its mother, Take it to the vet for standard vaccinations and tests. The vet will conduct tests that will assess the overall health and development of your pet. Also, there are young rabbits with sensitive digestive systems and, therefore, may be prone to different health conditions that affect the digestive tract, including enteritis, bloat, and stasis. 
these may affect rabbits that are less than two months of age. When it comes to parasites, watch out for ear or fur mites and pests. Rabbits that are affected by these parasites have poor hygiene and are kept in dirty surroundings and enclosures. Therefore, cleanliness is essential to a captive rabbit's health. Check your rabbit for any signs of illness such as poor appetite, eye discharges, nasal discharges, diarrhea, constipation and vomiting. You must also watch for an unsteady gait, restlessness, grating of the teeth, and sleeping longer hours because these could be signs of a serious condition. Another important part of taking care of rabbits is deworming. Your American fuzzy lop must be treated for worms once a year during springtime and fall. This very important especially with rabbits that come from the wild or are bred from wild parents. All rabbit breeds should be dewormed using something known as a deworming paste, a pea-sized amount will do. Place this in the rabbit's mouth, and this will lick and swallow the medication. You must follow the dose depending on your vet's prescription for the best results. Dental care. A rabbit's teeth will grow continuously, and sometimes, their teeth can grow to extreme lengths that can pierce the gums and mouth, leading to severe pain and discomfort. As an owner, make sure that the rabbit's teeth will never. Give your rabbit hay because this files down the rabbit's teeth naturally as the rabbit chews. Place pieces of wood, wooden baskets, or other accessories that can file the rabbit's teeth. Spaying or neutering. Rabbits can breed all year long, and any responsible pet owner will control this by spaying or neutering their pets. Spaying and neutering are usually done at a young age. However, some vets wait until our six months to be safe. Meanwhile, American fuzzy lop bucks are also neutered at a young age because experts say that neutering can reduce aggression. Also, some vets neuter bucks as young as three months. For any question regarding spaying and neutering, talk to your vet for surgical aftercare. Female rabbits can be spayed as early as four months of age. However, vets like to wait until they are at least six months. This is because the older they are, the less risk there is of complications on the operating tables. Bucks can be neutered as young as three and a half months old. Grooming American fuzzy lops come with very long fur and coat. Brush the fur to keep it clean, shiny, and free from pests. Groom this with a small brush at least once or twice a week. Grooming must be done more frequently during their molting period when the old fur sheds to allow the new fur to grow. Rabbits will eat their fur as they groom and to prevent wool blocks, and to keep the rabbit from ingesting their fur, you need to groom. Fur can accumulate in the digestive tract leading to blockage and more complications if you don't help your rabbit groom. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.